Hey everyone, my name is Akuridi Adinike. You are welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. I want to use this opportunity to thank you, my old and new subscriber, for your support always. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to draft this beautiful female pant, which is of eight pieces. As you can see, it's eight pieces, four pieces on both front and four pieces on both back. So let's get into it. You know, in today's tutorial, I said I'm drafting out eight pieces female pants. The reason why I called it eight pieces, as you can see it's showing on the screen, is because there is four pieces on each leg. So to achieve that, I'm going to make use of this pattern paper that I've already have a video on how to draft it, which I'm going to put the link in the box below. So let's get into it. This is the front pattern of it and this is the back pattern and to get the eight pieces i'm talking about now i'm going to cut this center line i'll just split it into two i'm going to split the front into two and i'm splitting the back into two as well so the front now i'll just split it into two like this at the center from the bottom i'm going to split it so when you watch the video on how to draft it you will understand this line better so make sure you write front here too for you to recognize it this is the back pattern to split it into two now i'll come on my M line here from the original line here not on the same allowance place so I'm going to find the middle of this bottom and on this place too I'm going to find the middle of it as well so let me place my front my front side on it to make it easier for me we just place it like this So here is the middle of it, here is the middle of this one as well. So, you know, front dart is quite different from the back dart. If you watch that video, you will understand what I'm talking about. So this is where the, this is how the front dart is. So from this point now, I will just rule a straight line down like this. just like this so i'm maintaining this i'm cutting off this middle till this place so i'll now complete the joining like this as for the back you know on the front we just cut it straight but the dart is quite different on the back part as of the front so connect it like this and I'm going to split it now. That's a little different. So we just cut it off now, split it into two. Just you know, I'm maintaining this the middle line here. That's just it for the back. As you can see, I've split it. Where is it now? So I'll move on to the front. But let me first of all write back for me to recognize it at the end of the day. Back. So this is the back now. And this is my now. This is another pattern paper for my drafting pattern drafting today so and this is my front that i splitted the other time i have to fold one inch on, on the bottom on the hem line here and i have to fold two inches for the you know i if you watch that video you will understand what i'm doing very well two inches because i cut it together with the waist 
so this is two inches for the waist since i'm joining the waist later that's why i folded it like this to achieve what i'm making today so crotch part and this is the side part i'll just so for you to see what i'm doing very well i have to move it a little bit up for you to see because i'm focusing on the bottom of it if you watch the video you will understand the help very well so i'll just place it like this just make sure you can achieve three inches on both sides of it and three inches here so i'm going to add half inch straight down on both sides here you know i will have to join it back so i'm using the half inch to join it back i'm done joining the seam allowance on both sides so i will now come to my hemline here i'm going to measure three inches hope you can see what i'm doing very well I'm going to measure three inches on both sides so i'm going to measure it now here is it and here too i'm going to measure three inches from this line from the same this seam allowance line three inches So I'll now connect it. And this one too, from the knee length line going to connect it if you can see what I'm doing very well so that's how I'm going to connect it I'm going to measure here to measure three inches like this and on this side too measure three inches Going to connect it like this one. Just like this from the knee length line. We are about to finish. And this one to connect it. You know, I said earlier on, I said I'm going to fold one inch on the bottom, on the hem line here. I don't need to fold, I don't need to cut it off. I remember that I have to shape the bottom of my trouser. So I will have to need it to shape the bottom of my trouser. I'll just cut it like this. I will later show you how to shape it. So let me cut it off. Let me cut it out now. As you can see, I'm done cutting the front, and if you look at it very well, you see that it's now forming that pieces. So I'm going to remove this one too. And put them aside. So. To achieve that a little bit cover the hem line, I'll just place it on each other like this. Let it align on each other, just like this. Now to avoid sharp edges here, I'm going to come up from the bottom by one inch. 
I will now connect it with my covola just like this to avoid sharp edges. So this side too, I'm going to connect it just like this. And I'm going to cut it off. Just make sure you don't leave any sharp edges and the M line here for you to avoid problem while sewing. So this just it as you can see. And don't cut in the front. So I'll now move on to the back. Please another pattern paper and place it on. Now this is my back part. I've placed it on another pattern paper and I've here is the space. Make sure the space here can be enough for what you need. So, to add half inch seam allowance to it on both sides, and I'm going to use it to join it back. So I've added half inch on both sides for seam allowance. So when I get to the up here, I follow the direction that is here. You know, I said it's not straight. The dart of the back is quite different to the front. That's why I have to follow the direction that I cut here. So to get that pieces now and the wide leg that we are talking about, I have to come here, measure three inches from this same line same allowance line measure three inches outward like this and on this side too three inches so the same thing on the second part of it three inches three inches so i will now connect it I'm going to connect it just like this from the knee line Connect it downward like this, like I did on the front. Finish connecting it, I'll now cut it off just like this. Now I'm done cutting the back too, as you can see. It's very nice and beautiful. I'm going to remove this one. Place it on each other to shape the bottom line. So I'm going to place it on each other. Let the knee line, knee line align on each other like this. So and I'm going to measure one inch from the bottom. I'm going to shape it with my curve ruler. If you don't have your curve ruler, you can make use of your free hand, just like I did on the front part. I'm going to cut it out. Now this is it all, this is the front part and this is the back part. I have two pieces of front here and two pieces of back here. So I'm cutting two pieces for each. So front will be four pieces while back two will be four pieces. But I'm cutting two pieces of each. So don't make a mistake please. Make sure you label it for you not to make a mistake. If you want to, add, if you want to know how to achieve the sewing of it, you can watch my video on how to make, on how to cut and sew female pants. I'm going to put the link in the box below. So guys, this is all for today. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to support my channel. If you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing, and if you have any style or any illustration you want us to talk about, you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akuridi Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akuridi Adenike. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.